The federal government has suspended the plant petrol subsidy removal. The announcement came through the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed. Speaking during a meeting held at the National Assembly in Abuja, the minister said the suspension is still further notice. It was earlier reported that the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Temipri Silva, said the president was not in support of the removal of the subsidy. Let me start by stating the fact that we did make a provision in the 2022 budget for fuel subsidy for January 22. And that suggests that from July that there will be no subsidy. And this provision was made sequel to the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act that has made a provision that all products will be deregulated. Subsequent to the passage of the Act, we went back and amended the fiscal framework that was submitted to National Assembly to incorporate this demand. But after the budget was passed, and we have had consultations with a number of stakeholders, it became clear that the timing is problematic, that practically there is still heightened inflation, and also removal of subsidy will further worsen the situation, thereby imposing more difficulties on the citizens. And Mr. President clearly does not want to do that. So what we have to do now is to um, continue with the discussions that we're making in terms of putting pla in place a number of measures, one of which is the deployment of an alternative to the, C to the PMS, which is the CND. Very clear. It is uh, clear to the blind and uh, uh, audible to the deaf that it is not possible at this time for us to remove the subsidy. Uh, we know that some uh, naysayers, some uh, political people will try to bring, uh, make political capital out of it, but it is not within the contemplation now of this administration to remove subsidy. Uh, but of course, if there are legislative uh, enablers that uh, will also ensure that uh, it is within the law, then I think it's a legislative responsibility. All in search of ways and means of ensuring that that ordinary Nigeria does not suffer any hardship, that when the subsidy will be removed eventually, it will be at such a point at which the hardship will be very minimal and will have been taken care of by several or projects or environments and it's not about NLC. NLC how many people are uh, NLC or uh, TUC? We are talking about every Nigeria and NLC is just an organized part of the system. But we are concerned beyond the NLC and I'm taking this opportunity to appeal to TUC and NLC to share this All right, we're now being joined by the Deputy President of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Amechi Asugune. And many thanks for joining us on the news now on Plus TV Africa, Mr. Asugune. You're yeah, welcome, brother. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, let's talk about uh, the um, subsidy removal. Uh, your uh, group, uh, that's uh, the Nigerian Labour Congress, has actually said before now that uh, you'll be, uh, there'll be no going back on this planned um, strike. With the new development and the federal government calling off the planned subsidy, what's the position of Labour in this situation right now? I think that the plan of Labour uh, remain the same with regards to the plan action for 27th Thursday this month of January. The action is not about federal government postponing or creating alternative to the very action that they seem to be anti-people. We are saying it is not an option until refineries are built in Nigeria. So it's not about whether they are deferring it to June even though you defer it to December this year, it's unacceptable. Because we have had years without productivity. 
Federal government had opportunity from 1999 in date. Refineries are not working. So there, there's no way you can hide on back any guy to begin to now say that uh, instead of February, it will be June. There, we don't have, we don't need notice of suffering. And there's nobody that will accept such hardship from federal government. The inability to put refineries to work is enough to quit and not to suffer Nigeria further. So for us, the protest is to correct the mentality that there is an option to remove subsidy that no, tomorrow they will tell us there's no subsidy. Next tomorrow it appears as if there's subsidy. Who are the beneficiaries of this? So federal government should put refineries to work. Make that product a local product. Produce for yourself and the sport to gain income. So Nigeria Labour Congress will not tolerate anything short of this. The plan action will continue. I think that is the position. All right, uh, good to know. But let's still talk more concerning your concerns, which is, uh, you know, uh, the, the refineries, uh, you want the federal government uh, to put them to work. You know, are you issuing a particular time frame? What are you looking at as regards some time? You know, because over time, this issue of um, uh, the refineries have been, you know, have taken front burner and that uh, we don't seem to be, you know, getting a clear direction as per what we are doing with the refineries and we're still importing uh, petroleum products. You know, what timeline are you giving them, the, the federal government, like uh, for how long do you think they should fix uh, this refineries uh, before, you know, that uh, things will be back to normal? You know, it's, uh, it's shameful for government or anybody to actually expect labor to issue automatum with regards to when refineries should work. What is important here is federal government to prioritize the option of refineries working as men deal because it's looking deliberate. Beneficiaries to this subsidy, beneficiaries to this very importation, are the same people giving this very advice to remove subsidy and make this product their product in such a way that fuel will be PMS will not be sold at 500 naira in this same country that people expect their dollar to drop. So there's no better timeline than to prioritize. When you make that option a priority for the federal government, it becomes a matter of timing for the government in office. We, they have less than a year now to show their last performance. And in between now and end of this year, we can have refineries function effectively to the optimized position that we can actually produce what we can consume. Rather than government telling Nigerians that the refineries are not in good shape, we have seen countries that had in, in, in the Indian, Indian, Indian refineries are working for almost 100 years and they are still in good shape. So who not tell them that the refinery that has not worked before you are now rendering those facilities to be useless and scraps. It's very unfortunate that federal government is not seeing employment in all this argument. Rather, all they see is theory. It's unfortunate. We are fighting unemployment. All but right. those things that should create jobs, we are against them. This all is right. very unfortunate. Uh, Amechi, let me just try and put a word in edgewise. Uh, what, uh, what are we going to see differently this time around? This is not the first time, you know, this issue of uh, fixing the refineries have actually been brought, uh, you know, to the fore. You know, over time, uh, the president, uh, the, not the president, the federal government comes, you know, makes some negotiation with labor and they make promises. And over the years, uh, the strikes uh, are going to be called off and over time, nothing will change. So what are we? What uh, what is labor going to do differently this time around? Labor is going to engage strategies. Now that we are protecting for government not to go ahead with the plan removal of subsidy that eventually returns suffering to Nigerians, labor will further engage. Should federal government go to sleep, labor will put them on their toes in ensuring that they don't continue subsidy in the pocket of few but rather utilize the avenue. How can you borrow money to the extent that we're almost borrowing money to service uh, subsidy? It's, it's insulting to the nation. So if you are borrowing money, borrow money to put refineries to work and use the same refineries dividend to service the loan. You don't have what should give you income and employment and you keep sitting on it and keep complaining. How can federal government depend on ready-made income on a yearly basis we keep planning budget on oil made income. That is that you have a product and such product. It's just like you 
having cassava, having yam, and then you are buying the powder of this yam. You are buying all the things that you needed to make uh, what they call yam flour and all that from other countries. Why not buy the grinding machine and grind your yam in your country and they spot the flour right. and earn income and then make our currency strong. And every day we keep depending on labor to issue automation until protest is planned. Government will not meet. Each time you see protest being drawn, that is when federal government will tell you their plan on a particular subject. All it's right. deceitful. All and right. you should stop. Finally, I made you very quickly before we let you go. You know, how do you see this particular, you know, uh, you know plan strike and turning out? Do you see the people, you know, coming out en masse in solidarity? Do you think Nigerians still believe um, in the effort and, of course, uh, you know, the, the, the workings of the Nigerian Labour Congress? The mobilization so far done for 27 protests is sufficient. But what troubles me most is should the 27 protests be taken for granted? Federal government will never like the outcome of the indefinite strike action that has been put on the pipeline because the action certainly will be uncontrollable. And uh, I, just, I just advise that they must avert it. Needless for governors to say, if they want to do it, they will engage labor. There is no labor leader that will be in attendance or in a meeting that will be discussing returning ship to Nigerians. Thank God this is election year. People are already campaigning. So it's a good avenue for politicians to advertise their exit to Nigerians. Right. And I believe labor will actually lead that very journey safely. Right, this protest so is going to be sufficient and it's going to be thorough. All right, thank you so much indeed. Uh, we just uh, hope that uh, we'll begin to see all the changes uh, in uh, the downstream sector and, of course, uh, uh, ensure that uh, our refineries are working at an um, optimal basis. We have been speaking with the Deputy President of the Nigeria Labour Congress, Amechi Asuguni. Many thanks for your thought and input on the news tonight. We do appreciate them. You're welcome. Thank you. Good night. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.